Today's assignment is about the eye. This is my uh, title page. We'll be talking about the structures of the eye and what they do. These are the structures of the eye. We have the cornea in the front of the eye and it's the clear transparent front part of the eye that covers the iris pupil anterior chamber and provides most of the eye optical power. We have the iris, which is right here, and that is um, what will gives the eye uh, color, and that's the tissue laying behind the cornea. We have the pupil, uh, which is the black circular or darker circular opening in the center of the iris that regulates the amount of light that enters the eye, constricting and dilating. We have the lens, uh, the primary function of the lens is to bend light rays, allowing the rays to fall uh, into the retina. Ciliary uh, muscle involves, uh, it's involved in the lens accommodation and controls um, the movement or of accommodation of the lens and the intraocular pressure and shape of the lens. The um, aqueous uh, humor, which is a uh, Called clear colorless gelatinous mass that fills um, the rear in um, uh, three thirds of the eye. It's right in here and part in the front. Um, the sclera is the opaque, fibrous, um, tough protective outer layer of the eye. So the white in the eye, choroid is the um, to provide nourishment to the outer layer of the retina through blood vessels then we have the macula uh, is the area of acute central vision responsible for reading um, discrimination of fine details and color we have the optic nerve um, the largest sensory nerve of the eye it carries impulses for uh, sight from the retina to the brain. Then we have the uh, optical muscles responsible for eye movement. Uh, also, uh, we have eye diseases that happen in the adult population as they age. And one of those is presbyopia, which is nearsightedness, is when you can clearly see uh, close objects or small print. It is a small process that happens, a slow process that happens over your lifetime. Usually it shows up around the age of 40. Uh, nearsightedness usually occurs when your eyeball is longer than normal and your cornea is curved too steeply. It is easy to correct with reading glasses and contacts. Uh, presbyopia is, uh, or nearsightedness is diagnosed by a basic eye exam which includes a refraction assessment and an eye health exam. We have farsightedness or hyperopia. Is this condition usually becomes noticeable again around the age of 40. This is caused by your cornea or lens uh, not being able, to, uh, not being evenly or smoothly curved and the light rays are not refracted properly and is considered a refractive error. Farsightedness recurs when your eyeball is shorter than normal and your cornea is curved too little. Farsightedness is diagnosed by a basic eye exam, which includes a refraction assessment and um, the eye uh, health exam. Uh, dry eye disease is a condition that usually happens around the age of 50 and this uh, decreases the tear production or the quality of the tears where tears do not have enough oils to lubricate, uh, lubricate the eyeball feeling a stinging burning or scratchy sensation in your eyes the lack of tears produces a, a stringy mucus around the eye and makes your eyes sensitive to light and uh, you would have blurry vision uh, to diagnose dry eyes you would have a comprehensive eye exam, a test to measure the volume of your tears, and a test to uh, determine the quality of tears. Uh, geriatric uh, vision diseases. Uh, cataracts is 
Uh, one of the common ones is a cloudy clouding of the lens, causing cloud, cloudy, blurry vision, difficulty seeing at night, seeing halos around light. The they often form slowly without pain, redness, or tearing. Uh, some stay small and don't affect your sight. If they cause problems, your doctor can remove them with surgery and replace your lens with an artificial one that will be permanently um, attached. Cataracts are uh, diagnosed with a visual acuity test to test how well you can see. Also, the slit lamp test allows uh, the uh, see the structures of the front of the eye for cloudiness. Uh, treatments for cataracts would be uh, prescription glasses, and if that doesn't fix the problem, cataract surgery, surgery is the next step. Um, this procedure is done in outpatient and uses localized anesthetics uh, to numb the area of the eye and the patient would be awake. Nursing management for this surgery is to withhold anticoagulants to prevent uh, bleeding, assess patient's uh, vital signs before, during, and after surgery, provide the patient uh, teaching activities to avoid body positioning, um, chewing uh, food on the unaffected side, uh, wearing a protective eye patch or sunglasses, uh, side effects to be expected, and when to notify a physician. The use of NSAIDs is common for post-op uh, to reduce inflammation and control pain. Glaucoma is another disease that happens um, as you age. Uh, this uh, produces uh, uh, damage to the optical nerve by um, uh, optical uh, pressure and it leads to visual loss and blindness. This is one of the leading causes of blindness of people 60 years and older. Uh, clinical manifest manifestations would be uh, patchy blind spots in your um, side or peripheral vision or central vision. Frequently in both eyes, uh, tunnel vision into uh, advanced stages and severe headaches, eye pain, blurry, blurry uh, vision, halos around light, and eye redness. This condition is diagnosed by tonometry, which measures the intraocular pressure Imaging tests show the optic damage, um, checking fields of vision loss. Um, pachymetry measures the uh, thickness of the cornea. Treatment for glaucoma consists of managing the condition with medication that increases the flow out of the uh, fluids out of the eye, reduces the uh, production of fluid in the eye, lowering the, re the intra pressure of the eye and there's also laser surgery and installing drainage tubes to reduce the pressure. Uh, nursing management is to teach the pa patient how to use the prescription medication uh, to minimize side effects of the medication, um, what kind of diet they need, uh, what uh, uh, things they need to stay away from such as caffeinated drink, drinks, uh, types of exercises they need to avoid uh, to reduce the uh, intraocular pressure and um, the, to drink the moderate amounts of fluid. Steps that might prevent glaucoma, uh, it's also taught by the nurse and uh, how to get regular eye exams and wear eye protection. Age-related uh, macular degeneration is the leading cause of loss of vision in people 65 and older. Um, there's two types, there's dry macular degeneration and there's wet track, uh, macular degeneration. And dry macular degeneration affects the center of the retina responsible for central vision, causing the eye to lose the center of the field of vision. Wet macular degeneration are leaky blood vessels that grow under the retina, uh, causing blurred vision. Diagnostic studies, um, examination of the back of the eye, looking for fluids in the eye, the Amsler uh, grid test um, detects in your uh, your central vision. Uh, fluorescent angiography looks for leaky vessels and then optical 
coherence tomography displays images in the retina and shows thinning and thickening or swelling. There's no treatment available for dry macular degeneration except management with eyeglasses, nursing intervention, um, teaching about lifestyle so cho choices such as smoking, healthy diet, uh, high in antioxidants, uh, foods containing zinc, high protein food, maintaining healthy uh, weight and uh, exercise and also teaching the patient uh, how the importance of routine eye exams. Treatment for wet macular degeneration are medications um, that may help stop growth of leaky blood vessels. Other treatment include photodynamic therapy which consists of injecting medication in the arm so an IM uh, injection and having that medication go to the vessels of the eye and then is that medication is then activated with a laser light. Photo uh, coagulation it's a laser beam uh, energy to seal the abnormal vessels under the macula. Nursing interventions educate patient on avoiding uh, smoking, eating a healthy diet, the importance of managing uh, medical conditions uh, and getting routine eye exam. For people with intermediate or advanced disease, sh they should avoid driving and they should take high dose uh, formulation of antioxidant uh, vitamins and minerals and may help reduce the risk of vision loss. Provide resources for coping and support is also um, an important part of the teaching and the interventions of nursing. And um, this will be my, my um, reference uh, page. And those are my references and that's the end of the video.